these are my three predictions for Digital China for 2018. I'm here in the Dominican Republic today on a bit of a break from the Beijing winter. And in this little video, I'm going to give you an argument why you want to keep your eye on Alibaba, Jingdong, DT, and Toqiao in the coming year. More in a minute. Next prediction. Basically, I think fashion and grocery e-commerce are really going to take off in 2018. Now, my argument for this in terms of fashion is really two points. Number one, Chinese consumers make up about 30% of luxury purchases worldwide. Uh, they all happen to be in China, but most of the brands, merchants tend to be outside of China. They're in Paris, they're in Milan. Uh, so there's a natural cross-border element that plays right into that. Uh, the second point is the major players, Jingdong, Alibaba, have already made their moves into these sectors. Uh, Jingdong bought Farfetch, uh, they launched Top Life, Alibaba has a big platform. So they're already invested and the pieces are in place and I think there's every reason to think this is really going to take off. Now in the case of grocery e-commerce, it's pretty much the same story. Uh, online sales, e-commerce in the grocery space in China is very small. It's like 2-3% to of the entire grocery market. Again, the major players have already made their moves. Uh, Alibaba has made an investment in Sunart. Uh, Jingdong has an investment with Walmart. Uh, so the pieces are in place. They're both going after the space. Uh, and it's basically ready to uh, grow very rapidly. As you can see, Las Terrenas has uh, some very nice beaches. It's not, a, it's not a major tourist area, so it tends to be quieter. Uh, the beaches tend to be kind of empty. However, on the flip side, you always kind of got to be a little careful here. So it's not a coincidence that uh, I've got my camera out, but I'm also right across the street from the police station. Next prediction, watch for Didi to shake up bike sharing in China and ride sharing everywhere. Uh, this is a very aggressive company, very well funded, very well managed, and they're making interesting moves. Now in bike sharing, we kind of knew who the leaders were, Mobike and Ofo. Didi has just bought Blue Go Go, has given singles, it's going to enter this market directly on its own, despite being an owner of Ofo. Uh, so watch them to basically shake up that dynamic. Second, watch for them to shake up ride sharing everywhere. They just bought uh, 99, a Brazilian ride sharing company. They're entering Mexico directly themselves. Their investors in Grab, Ola, Taxify, they're making moves everywhere, which is a big problem for Uber. Uh, so watch for them to do a lot of international stuff and maybe go after Uber directly in the United States. FYI, if you're ever in Las Terrenas in Dominican Republic, this French bakery has basically the best cappuccino and pretty much everything else. Okay, next prediction. New retail is not going to be as big a deal in 2018. Now, it was the big story of Digital China for 2017, no doubt. It is a sweeping vision, bringing all these physical spaces into the ecosystem. Uh, but it's a B2B initiative, ultimately. You are selling to businesses. That stuff tends to happen a lot slower than B2C activity. So yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, it's going to happen. But I think it's going to be a lot slower than people think, although ultimately very large.
those are my recommendations for things to keep an eye on in terms of digital China for this year. Uh, I'm back up in the jungle now. This is where I'm staying. It's really quite fantastic. Uh, let me give you a quick look around here. There's a nice hammock, which is actually a fantastic place to work, it turns out. I didn't know that before. Anyways, thanks again for watching. This is Jeff Towson from Peking University.